Guys, I'm excited. It finally happened. Interactive Brokers, my personal number one broker for many reasons, finally added recurring investments and fractional shares for ETFs in Europe. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, me included. Okay, they actually added the option a while back, but so far it wasn't working for some of the most popular European ETFs, including my favorite, which my wife and I buy every single month, the accumulating Vanguard FTSE O World. I'm happy to report that this has now changed and I've successfully placed my first two orders using the new features. Not only that, I like Interactive Brokers implementation so much that I'm thinking about making most of my ETF purchases on IB a recurring investment from now on. Taking a step back, here's what we'll be talking about in this video. First, starting with the basics. What are recurring investments and why should you care? Second, how do you set them up? Third, which ETFs are supported? Fourth, what are the fees? In this context, which pricing model should you select in your own Interactive Brokers account? Fifth, why I like this implementation better than the way other low-cost brokers deal with recurring investments? And lastly, I'll show you how you can now get fractional shares when placing direct orders as well. Before I get started, if you'd like to check out Interactive Brokers and support me, feel free to use my link down below in the description. Apart from subscribing, of course, for more European finance videos. All right, let's dive in. First of all, what are recurring investments and why should you care? Recurring investments or saving plans, as they're called on German brokers like Trade Republic or Scalable Capital, are a great way to automate your investments into stocks or ETFs. You can set a certain amount you want to invest at specific intervals, for example, weekly, monthly, or quarterly, and let the broker buy the shares for you automatically. This way, you're able to save a lot of time by putting your investments into the stock market on autopilot and take emotions out of the equation, which is usually a good call when it comes to investing. It's also an easy way to dollar cost average, or in our case, euro cost average into the market if you have a large sum of money and you don't want to invest it all at once for whichever reason. Not only that, even fractional shares are bought using the recurring investment feature on interactive brokers. This means your amount is fully invested. Here's what I mean. Let's say you're investing 1000 euros and each share of your ETF costs 80 euro when the money is invested. You're now able to get 12.5 shares and fully invest your money instead of what is usually the case, just 12 full shares and then the rest remaining in cash minus the trading fee, of course. This is a game changer in my opinion. Recurring investments and fractional shares were the only two features that were missing for me on Interactive Brokers, and I'm so glad that they added them. All right, let's set up our first recurring investment. First of all, make sure fractional share trading is enabled in your trading permissions in your account settings so that you can use the recurring investment feature. I think it should be this one at the bottom. Once we've done that, we go back to our account overview, click on trade and recurring investments, where we then click on create. Just so you're not confused, asset type stock includes exchange traded funds, aka ETFs. We can now search for our ETF either via its symbol or its ISIN number. If you're not sure, you can search for your ETF on justetf.com beforehand to find the right information. In my case, I'm going with the symbol aka ticker for my favorite ETF, the accumulating Vanguard FTSE O World, so VWCE and then we click on search. And here we can see it's now available as a recurring investment, which is fantastic. We can now enter the start date, amount, in my case 1,100 euros, as that's what I approximately have in cash on my account right now, and select an interval, so how often we want our recurring investment to be executed. Unless you're investing more than 500 to 1,000 euros at each interval, I think monthly is often enough to minimize trading fees. Most of the ETF investments my wife and I placed over the past six plus years were simple monthly purchases at a set date, usually the start or middle of each month. So don't overthink it. You can even set an end date or the number of installments after which you want your recurring investment to be stopped. In this case, I'm going with no end date. Keep in mind, you can pause, edit or delete your recurring investments whenever you want. Okay, let's click on continue where we see a summary, including an info box that we need to have sufficient cash on our account on the days when our recurring investments are to be executed. Otherwise, IB won't be able to purchase the ETF shares for us. And recurring investments are filled through volume weighted average price orders on the purchase day. All customers buying the same ETF via recurring investments on a given day get the same average price on their investment. This is actually really neat and in my opinion much better than how German brokers like Trade Republic or Scalable Capital deal with saving plans. I'll show you why in a few minutes. By the way, if that day happens to be a holiday or the weekend, the shares are purchased the next workday. And lastly, IB charges the same low commissions for recurring investment trades, so you're not paying extra for the convenience. All right, now let's click on save investment and it's set up. We can now find it under the recurring investments tab where we can change it or cancel it completely at any time. Since I just mentioned fees, Interactive Brokers has two pricing models, tiered and fixed. 
The one I recommend for most people and the one I'm using myself is the tiered one. You can switch between pricing models anytime under settings, IBKR pricing plan. I also created a Google sheet comparing the two models which I'll link down below in the description. Here you can see the approximate fees for ETF orders on interactive brokers for us Europeans. Generally speaking, you're better off using the tiered pricing model for orders all the way up to 5,500 euros each, while for orders over 5,500 euros, the fixed pricing model starts to make more sense. Using the tiered pricing model, you only pay 1 euro 25 cents to 1 euro and 38 cents depending on which exchange interactive brokers smart routing uses for an order of 2500 euros for example these are some of the lowest fees in the industry and let's not forget interactive brokers is not subsidizing the low fees via payment for order flow or share lending either unlike some other low-cost brokers now let's get back to recurring investments you can only set up recurring investments for stocks or ETFs which can be traded in fractions as well. And since this feature has only started to roll out for European ETFs recently, many are not supported yet, but I'm sure that will change. That being said, the most popular ones are covered already. Among the exchange traded funds, I listed under my video about what I consider the best ETF investing strategies for European investors in 2023 and beyond. These are enabled for recurring investments and fractional shares on interactive brokers already. My favorite, the Vanguard FTSE O World, both in the accumulating or distributing version, the very popular accumulating iShares Core MSCI World, three of the best S&P 500 ETFs by Vanguard and iShares, the iShares MSCI World Small Cap, the accumulating iShares Core MSCI Emerging Markets IMI, the distributing iShares Stocks Europe 600, the accumulating Vanguard FTSE Developed Europe, and the distributing Vanguard FTSE North America ETF. I think that's a pretty good start. Based on my interactions with you guys over the years, I think this should already cover the majority of investors on this channel. They're adding more on a regular basis, so the list of supported ETFs will most likely grow significantly over the coming months. Okay, a few minutes ago you watched me set up my first recurring investment for the accumulating Vanguard FTSE o -World. Now, a few days later, we can see that on Monday, the 3rd of July, the recurring investment of 1,100 euros into my favorite ETF was automatically executed at 5.23 p.m for 101.3 euros per share and I received a total of 10.8587 shares while only paying 1 euro 25 cents in fees using the tiered pricing model. Meanwhile, my wife had a recurring investment running on scalable capital that same day as well which was executed at 101.6 euros per share at 11.03 a.m. Normally that's not an issue, the price fluctuates quite a bit throughout the day. However, I've noticed recurring investments on Scalable and other brokers almost always get executed at a slightly higher price than the market price around the same time when looking at TradingView. That probably happens because they place one large order for all customers at once which drives up the price momentarily. Meanwhile, Interactive Brokers doesn't seem to be doing that and I'm happy to report that I received exactly the market price of 101 euro 30 at 5.23 p.m. Obviously for small amounts this won't matter much, but if you're investing several thousand euros at once, this could make a difference. Anyway, I will do more testing over the coming months, but so far I couldn't be happier with how this was implemented on Interactive Brokers. Getting back to the topic of fractional shares, you can now also get fractional shares when placing an order directly, not just via a recurring investment. First select an ETF or stock you want to buy, in my case the accumulating Vanguard FTSE o World, aka VWCE. If you see a symbol saying recurring underneath the buy button, this means you can get fractional shares as well. Let's actually test it out right away, since I have a bit over 1000 euros to invest right now. Instead of entering the amount of full shares we want to buy, we click on Euro and enter 1000 euros as the amount. Now we click on Preview and we're greeted with an info box telling us our order will result in fractional shares as well, which is exactly what we wanted. Next, we see the summary of the order with estimated fees of 1 euro and 25 cents, another info box, and we click on override and transmit. And we're done. The order has already been filled. Let's take a look. We successfully purchased 9.8775 shares and paid only 1 euro and 25 cents in trading fees. Again, we were able to fully invest the entire amount, 1000 euros. Before the addition of this feature, we would only have been able to buy 9 full shares directly and 88 euros would have remained in cash uninvested. So, with the addition of recurring investments, we're finally able to automate our long-term ETF strategies on IB. Of course, you still need to wire your money to interactive brokers on time. And before I forget, I recommend adding a few euros extra so the trading fees are covered as well. As one of you correctly pointed out in a comment, many banks don't support recurring payments to e-bonds in other countries. In this case, a relatively easy workaround could be to set a monthly reminder to wire money to IB. If you set up a payment template with all the details including the amount beforehand, this shouldn't take more than a minute. The next step will still 
still be completely automated. IB will invest the full amount of your recurring investment at whichever date you set it up with and also buy fractional shares. Obviously, make sure the money is on your interactive broker's account on the date where you want it to be invested for you. Meanwhile, if your bank supports recurring payments to a German IBAN, at least that's the one that's given for my account, then you can automate everything. This is possible with Revolut, for example. All right, I'm pretty sure you can tell that I'm really excited about the addition of fractional shares and recurring investments on interactive brokers. Hopefully this video helped you get a bit more familiar with the two new features and how they work. If you'd like to support me and check out Interactive Brokers for yourself, feel free to use my link down below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more European finance videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and until next time.